श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कवितार्किक केसरी वेदाताचार्य वर्ग्योमे सन्नीदत्ता सदाहृति श्रीवासरंग पर मुनिप्तलक्ष्मात्मरक्षण युगागमांत आचार्य भक्ति पिपूतमर्गशील गोपाल देशिक मुनि गुरमाश्रयाम पराशर मुनि वंदे कृत पौर्वाणिक क्रिय मैत्रेय परीप्रच प्रणिबाद सो वी वेर एंजॉयिंग द कृष्ण कथा वी हैव बीन एंजॉयिंग कृष्ण कथा आज नैरेटेड बाय सेज पराशर टू सेज मैत्रेय इन विष्णु पुराण द कृष्ण अवतार एंड द कृष्ण लीला ऑल दैट वी हैव बीन एंजॉयिंग so can you kindly mute please so we have we have last time we little bit we touched upon the rasa leela the krishna's rasa leela with the gopa gopikas so that's when i was mentioning that we need to dwell more on this and try to understand the significance behind this because when when rama and krishna avataram takes place people do not understand the avataram that he is when he takes an avataram as a human being when he takes an avataram as a cowherd boy he is not one among us he has taken the avataram because of his sankalpa because of his will unlike us we take the birth because of our karma and we do not choose he chooses to take birth so ravana talks lowly about rama coming into the forest leaving his coronation to his younger brother and shishubalan talks in unparliamentary language in the in the duryodhana palace in the duryodhana sabha about the deeds of krishna as a cowherd boy sudusol Shishubalan talked Sudhisol. Even the likes of Duryodhana and Duchadana and Shakuni could not bear to hear such harsh words about Krishna. So Krishna mentions avyaktam, vyaktima apannam, manyante maam abuddhaya, param bhava majanantaha, mama vyayam anuttama, mama vyayam anuttama. He says, I. I am the son of Vasudeva. I take birth as the son of Vasudeva. I am being considered as if I am born due to the karma, due to the bondage of karma. I am not bounded by karma. They do not understand my saushilya gunam, my being easily accessible to each one of you. I have taken the avataram to establish dharma. The same holds good for all avatar. whenever he takes birth it is because of establishing dharma it is because to de- because of destruction of evil to protect the sadhus without understanding his true nature his gunas we people talk low about his deeds performed during these avatarams those who do that are foolish those who equate him with us as humans and evaluate his actions from our viewpoint as humans are stupid and still it continues even today it continuing even today such talk is going on even sincere devotees sometimes get doubts on his kopikas rasalila vali vadam especially so sukshma paramude paramududhyaya so dharma is very subtle subtle rama tells vali it's not easily comprehensible krishna played with gopastris gopa gopikas even today many of us are not able to digest and even we vaishnavites who are supposed to be krishna bhaktas should never get such thoughts about his such grandest deeds which have subtle nuances it has got it has got esoteric concepts it is essential to get our doubts cleared so that we reinforce our bhakti on him stronger and it grows from strength to strength there is no better time than talking it about it now when sage parasara explained about this rasa krida to sage maitreya so please forgive me for if i am trying to put a crude translation of that 
because fools rush in where angels fear to tread. This is only to clarify us, our own doubts and thoughts in us. And I take Swami Desika's uh, Yadava Abhyutayam, where he talks about the Krishna Avataram and Krishna's Rasa, Rasa Leela and explains the significance because of that. It is Swami Desikan who blessed us with the unparalleled Abhaya Pradhana Saram, where he clarifies many aspects on Sharanagati of self-surrender during the Rama Avataram, and he clarifies many things there. Swami mentions in Yadava Bhutayam about Krishna Avataram, and let us enjoy them and get our doubts cleared. And I, I basically referred to Yadava Bhutayam as quoted by Naval Pakam Sri Uwe, Dr. Vasudevachar Swami in, in one of the magazines about 20 years back. So I was so attracted by the article and it's only because of the wonderful original article if at all there is anything good and because of Swami Desikan's excellent analysis if there is any errors, omission, mistakes, it's entirely due to the lack of understanding and our mind. So here, <coughs> I remember about 25 years back, audience Acharya, Srimad Paravakote Andavan also talked about this for about two and a half hours about this Rasa Krida. So here in Yadava Bhutayam, there is one sloka which clears most of our questions. Sura Suranga Nabhi Samaye Grithayam Swenaiva Gopa Kriti Bhumikayam Akarma Vashyasya Vibosta Dasite Achapalas Parishana Matra Lila Yadava Bhutayam 8th chapter 67th Shloka. Here this sloka is a wonderful sloka which answers some of our question. The ultimate the ultimate Shaulabhya, which is Yelimai, being easily available for us, joining hands with Gopastris, joining hands with Gopa Gopikas, and eating the Thayir the curd rice with the Gopa boys in the forest. He mingled with them as if he belonged to one. He, he enjoyed dancing with the Gopastris and he enjoyed playing with them. And some of the Gopastris were also married to others. They were having children. They were running the household. And they too were happy being with Krishna. And this is against the Sastras, isn't it? Does this deed, does this Rasalila bring a bad name for Kannan? The answer is, first we should not think, should not first, first of all think that he and us are same group. He is Bhagavan. He is the Lord. He is the Sarveshwar. He is another Jati. We are Jivatmas. It is His Sankalpam. It is His will. That he, it is His Sankalpam that even we exist. Even our breath. We, when we get up from bed, it is because of His Sankalpam that we are breathing. He is never touched by Punya Papams. He is Akilaheya Pratyanika, untouched by imperfection or bad gunas. He is not bound by karma at all. His birth is an avatara for our sake. We are all bound by karma. So we are tied down by karma. We do not know what is in store tomorrow. He is above within Nisheda Sastras. Sastras are for us to be on right track for getting rid of our papa and accrual of punya and to please him as sastras are his order, his instructions, his command. So sage Vyasa mentions that Bhagavan does not belong to human race. So Arupa Vadhevahi Tat Pradhanya Natvat. So he is Manida, he is he is in Manida Jati. He takes the Atmana Manushamanye Ramam Dasaratatmaja. Rama says, I have taken birth as a human being. But we cannot hold him down with the rules laid down for us. He has taken the Avatara. We cannot compare and equate our actions with the Divya Cheshtitams, with the divine Leelas of Krishna. Can we lift the huge Govardhana mountain with the little finger as a boy for seven days? Not even for two seconds. We cannot even lift our umbrella for an hour. 
Can we dance on top of the many heads of poisonous snake Kalingan? Sage Shukar mentions that even the Rudra, the highest of Bhaktas, he drank the poison and he survived. I, sage Agastya took a palm off in his palm, the entire ocean. When such is the case for the exalted devotees, what about Ishwaran? What about Bhagavan? Why to talk about him? Hence, Krishna does not belong to us. Kanna does not belong to us. Belong to the human race. He is Parabrahman. Veda declares him as Apahata Papma. Swami Emperumana Ramanuja comments that by nature he is not bounded by karma. Apahata Karmatvam. So, if some of his acts appear to us, us as the acts of Papam, he is unbounded and untouched by such Papam. Hence, that Papam will never ever affect to him, affect him or come to him due to these acts. But the question here, Swami Desi can touch upon this, Akarma Vashya, he does not belong to the Jiva Jati, he is not belonging to any karma, he is our ruler, he is our Sarveshwaran, he is our Lord, he is our Ishwaran. He does not get affected by karma and Punya Papams, Yangal Alvan mentions in the commentary on Vishnu Purana. So, here, hence, no dosham for him. Okay, no dosham. But I have a question. What are the avatarams for? Avatarams are for dharma's sthapana. To establish and protect dharma. Sri Rama being the Ekapatni Vratan followed the strict codes of Sastras and set an example. Kannan is playing with these Gopikas. Played with them. And Vedas and Sastras may roar saying that he is Paratvam, he is unaffected. But is that appropriate for Kannan to do that? Playing with, uh, with these Gopikas. Can that be termed as establishing Dharma? How can we say that he followed the Sastras and established protected Dharma in his Krishna Avataram as Avataram? Okay, he is Parameshwar, he is Sarveshwar, but why should he do that? Same question was raised by Parvati to Rudra. Rudra replied promptly. He said, we the Jivatma are his body. Anga an yanya devata aha. The, the devatas are angas of Bhagavan. The Jivatmas are his sarira. We are all always united with our bodies, right? My hand is always with me. My nose is always with me. My mind, my buddhi. So, there is absolutely no dosha for that. There is no enjoyment of me hugging my other hand. There is no apasham. There is nothing, uh, nothing obscene in that. Only when we hug the body which not, does not belong to us, it is different and hence it is dosha. Only then the problems arise. Ishwara is vibhu. He manifests everywhere. Antar Bhagis Chatat Sarva Vyapya Narayana Stitaha. Narayana manifests and pervades everywhere, inside and outside of everything and everyone. We are all his Sharira. He houses himself. He houses himself in us. And he houses all as well. He is housed in us. He houses all of us. He resides in us. He is the resident in each one of us. He also keeps all of us inside his stomach during the Mahapralaya. So, when he hugs his own finger, own body, can it have dosham? Was Rudra's reply to Parvati. So, this aspect is mentioned by Swami Desika in the slokam as Vibho. He is Vibhu. He manifests and pervades everywhere. Even for that matter, Vayu, the air, also spreads everywhere. Vayu, air, goes everywhere. So, is it his papam? The, vas, va, the Vayu touches me. It completely hugs me. It embraces me. Embraces everyone. Is it a dosham? When Vayu himself does not do anything wrong, what can we mention about the Sarveshwara? We are all his sharira. When he hugs us, there is no dosham. Even Chaturmukha Brahma and others longed for being born in Gopakulam. 
to be hugged by Kanna. Vishnu Purana also mentions this. Vyapi Vayurivasthitaha. Generally, among human, human, among, among us, the human beings, there are kamukas, people who are lusting after sensual pleasure and carnal desire. There are few viraktas who detach themselves from getting such thoughts and are vairagis. They completely detach. They control their mind. They even spurn thinking of these desires and hate as mere collection of flesh, bones, blood, pus. Woundedai shuvar vaitthi yenbutu nati, says Trimangai Alvar. The body is with the lowly hair, the wall of skin, flesh, bone, pus and reinforcing members to support our body. So, there are these two kinds of people exist in the world. Sri Krishna did not, have, did not have moham, did not have lust, desire for these gopikas and their bodies. Not even dvesha, dislike or hatred for them. They are his sariram after all. They are his body. They belong to him, not due to his karma, but by his own very nature as their lord. How can there be desire or hatred? So, Swami Desikan mentions here the Kannan hugging his own body, namely Gopikas. There is nothing against Dharma. In fact, the husbands of these Gopikas, the mother-in-law of the Gopika, should have got angry at these acts. But never did they get angry. Because Kannan was also in their hearts as their Antaryami. They too belong to him. Bhagavan entered into their hearts as well and attracted them, enchanted them with his divine charming form and united with their jeevans. Tan, tan, vatti vandhi, tani nenjai vanjitte, unatti vandhi, uirinai kalandhi, uirinil kalandhi, namalvar. In Thiruvayamari mentioned that he enters into our mind, enters into our body, he hugs us, he mixes with us, and he joins with us and he makes us enjoy his Krishna Katha. These people had the same experience and enjoyment. Gopikas, their husbands, their in-laws, their parents, their children, everybody is enjoying this samsleshan, this union. For them, for that, hence, there is nothing wrong seen in Krishna's acts. And they could not talk ill about Kanna. It is one of Kanna's leelas. So Vishnu Purana refers to this. Swami Desi can touch upon this. So that's fine. Now, <coughs> we, we talked about all these things. Okay. But now, what the question is, okay, Krishna is not affected by all these things. But still the poor Gopikas get these doshams as they desired for another person other than their own husband. Why did he have to hug? the Gopikas. Why did they fall in love with him? How can Kannan be a party to such papams committed by Gopikas? Kannan may not be affected by this because he is Sarveshwara. But how could he be an influencing factor for other Jeevatmas to get affected? So the answer is the Apsaras trees, the dancing themselves in the Devaloka, the Devatas, by hearing about the most beautiful Divya Saundaryam of Lord Shriyapati Sriman Narayana and prayed to him continuously like tapas for blessing them with his Divya Saundarya Rupa for them to enjoy. So Bhagavan Sriman Narayana in the park cuddle in Milky Ocean appeared before these devas, devatas and said, Do not worry, I am pleased by your prayers. In the same way, when the Rishi saw the Ramachandra Murti, the Lord Sri Rama in the forest, they were so enchanted by his beautiful shoulder, beautiful face, Tirumukam, Tirukkangal, the lovely red lotus eyes, the Divya Saundaryam of each of each part of Raman, and the Divya and the Surupa, the beautiful Lavanya, the exquisite beauty of Rama. They were so enchanted by it, by that, so they felt like marrying him. Because they were rishis, they were tapasvis. Krishna, the Rama said, do not worry. 
I will fulfill all your desire. The Devatas as well as the Rishis. You will all will be born as Kopas trees. In when I take the Krishna avatar, your prayers will be fulfilled. Thus he blessed them with his divine body and its charm when they were born as Gopas tree. This Purana explains that due to their Punya Palan, due to their Tapas, due to their prayers, their past prayers, they are blessed with this Ananda, with this Samsleshan, with the union. It is Bhagavan's organizing things and it is orchestration to fulfill his devotee's prayer. So nobody gets dosham here because of this act. So Rama lets the rishis be born as Gopastri. Devatas were born as Gopastris. So here, okay, understand. But still one doubt. It's still not understood. Devastris could have simply got married to Krishna and enjoyed him as his spouse, as his wife. They could have got their prayers fulfilled. Instead, instead, why should they be born as Gopastris? Leave their husbands and in-laws and children and run to Kanna. Why should Kanna allow this? How can there be an establishment of Dharma again? Okay, all these are explained nicely. But it's still not acceptable that this is an establishment of Dharma, which is the purpose of his avatar. This act is against Manusha Dharma. Good question. But again, it, it is explained in the Puranam and by Swami Deshkan in the Adhavabhitaya. Here, firstly, there are two issues that need to be understood. It needs Krishna Bhakti for us to understand. The husband-wife, the father-son relations are not at all permanent. Tomeva mata cha pita tomeva tomeva bandhus cha gurus tomeva tomeva vidya dravanam tomeva tomeva sarvam mama deva deva you are the Mata, you are the father, you are the Saki, you are the Priya, you are the you are the spouse. Krishna is all relation for us. The our bodily relations now we have the father, the mother, the brother, the wife, the children. It is all physical, only with this body, only for this birth. Last birth I had someone else as my parents, as my wife, as my children. And the previous birth, it could be someone else. These are all because of the Sarira Sambandham, due to the association with this body. For this body, these relations come. They are present as long as this body exists. After the body goes, after the, the remaining mortal remains there, when the soul leaves the body, these relations vanish. Who is who? In the next birth, different parents, different children. Thus, we, we will not recognize these things. Can you kindly mute? The relations are only temporary and for, or for this birth. Being a wife, husband is due to the body taken by this Jivatma. And these roles will change in the next birth. But the relationship between Paramatma and Jivatma is eternal. It is not, it is not thrust upon in this body. Unnod Uravel Namakki. Wait, let me finish. Unnod Uravel Namakki Ngu Varikka Variyad. This eternal relationship would never ever go away. We are dasas. We are eternal servants of His. This is always so. It is natural for all Jivatma. It is no way associated with the body of Jivatma. It does not change with when bodies change for various births. It is stamped on our each one of our on our Atma that we belong to him. Andal says in Tirupavai, Unnodu Uravel Namakkingu Varikka Variyad. The relationship, the bonding between you and me would never ever go away, Koda says. Periyalvar also said, Adiyomodum Ninnodum Pirivindri Ayiram Palland. Between you and me, we will live forever. Hence, desiring for the Lord, devoted to him. Performing kaikaryam for him, performing service for him, longing for him, languishing for him, and love for him. This is to be, this is actually the welcome one. It should necessarily be sought after by every jivatma for our redemption, for our saving, for our 
complete getting rid of all this samsara sagara punarapi jananam punarapi maranam punarapi janani jatare shayana iha samsare bhagudustare kripaya pare pahi murare bhajagovindam adi shankara says the jananam maranam comes again and again and again to get rid of we have to iha samsare pahi dustare kripaya pare pahi murare kripai bhagavan's grace krishna's grace is required to achieve that and to in course of achieving the same if there is a choice between this versus the bodily relation one can choose the relation with the lord there is absolutely nothing wrong with that meera bhai she discarded the husband she did not want the marital relationship she longed for being with krishna and all longed to get married to krishna the bharatan bharata he simply discarded his mother because she wanted to coronate him as the king but bharata chose to not to get separated from the lord he said he wanted to serve the lord he brushed aside the bodily relation of kaikeyi as his mother she was the stumbling block for his kaikeyam to rama he hated her for such thoughts and preventing him from becoming kaikeyam from rama so that is why tomeva mata cha pita tomeva tomeva bandhus cha gurus tomeva so we 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 say we we say he is the father he is the mother so for us the bhagavat bhagavata anubhavam alone is prime and important it is it is in that we need to think of and that is what gopikas did they wanted to have a communion with him the jivatma of gopika wanted to have a samsleshan with the communion with him and the husbands and children and inlas they felt happy that they are they are also enjoying krishna in their heart letting their spouses letting their daughters in law be with kanan thereby krishna blesses them with the darshana saubhagyam of krishna in their hearts so what do you what do you want me to do for you all go back quickly and serve your serve your husband krishna says so do not leave your husband and come do not leave the dharma meant for women and ladies wives and mothers and she says don't don't come here go back home if you want you do sankirtanam sing my name utter my name but think from your home go home krishna tells gopastri gopikas could not control their tears their throats choked their eyes welled with tears their hearts broken their words did not come out of their mouth their tongues refused to cooperate because of the emotion why do why could you say krishna you are our master you are our swami you are our nathan that this jivatma wants to wants to be with you we belong to you so and how my my spouse, my husband is the one who sent me here they started appealing to him and it is a beautiful shlokam called gopika kitam the husband children you are you are advising that let them be there they are enjoying they are also enjoying you are resi- residing in their heart you are the permanent relation for all the jivatmas you are our darling bandhu and you are the atma for us due to our punya papam the karma palan there is only dukkham due to these relations and association with the with this with this with this relation so uh, we would like to come to you pankajaksha red lotus eyed lord the most merciful one dayanidhi please bless us do not break the love that we have for you from time immemorial so this is what is paramahitam for jivatma this is the ultimate that we need to bear in mind when the gopika dance when the rasalila when the gopas have the food with krishna when when the when the meera bai enjoys being with krishna not considering her husband when andal wanted to marry only krishna and not to be married to any other human beings this is the way it needs to be understood and that's the way at least 1 millionth of that we need to fake in our hearts we cannot get that anubhava because we are all drenched in the samsaric affliction but however we can fake we can act we can pretend that we have 
we, uh, we have that Krishna Anubhava. God alone is eternal relation for us. All others are only temporary. Due to karma, these relations exist. The dukkams, sukhams are due to karma. This is what is instructed by sage Yajna Valkya to Maitreyi. This is what is mentioned by sage Parasara to sage Maitreya. So, Gopikas understood this subtle experience. Even the Rishis could not understand. Even Sukha Brahmam says, how blessed are the Gopikas. So, the, the performing Sharanagati to Krishna's lotus feet. He says, Mamekam Sharanam Braja. Surrender to me alone, I would absolve you of all papams. Ma Suchaha, do not lament. So, when he assures us, he means that we need to go hug him. We need to go consider him as our Sarveshwaran, as our Nathan, as our only relation in this Jivat, in this, in this life. He wanted his avatar to glorify this Jivatma, longing for association, for relationship with him. That is the Dharma he wanted to take. That is the Upanishad Dharma, the greatest of Upanishad Dharma, which is the ultimate pinnacle of all Sastras, the Jivatmas, Nitya, Nirupadika, Ananyarya, Sheshatma. Nitya, eternal, Nirupadika, not interested, not enforced by someone else, not thrust upon by someone else. Ananyarya, not belonging to someone else, not, this is nothing to do with others. It is only for Sriman Narayana, only for Paramal Parameshwara Paramatma. It is well established in Gopika Charita. And that's what we need to bear in mind. Adiye, Sarvam Sri Krishna Panamastu. Kavitar Kikasimaya Kalyana Gunasaline. Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Nabaha. Kananike Avadi Kava. Danyosu.